Let's get the hell out of here. Hello friends, welcome to Friday Night Files. Tonight, we are playing a first person psychological horror game called Summer of 58. So in this game, we are an explorer, I think. And we are going to explore an abandoned summer camp in Russia where the locals say that this place is inhabited by restless souls. So let's check out the summer camp called Yunost. Sometimes people make of things that aren't there. Seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton something something. <laughs> I don't read that fast. Okay, I'm not controlling right now. So this is another game by Emika Games. And we all know they make epic games. Can I play now? So these are videos from previous games that we also played by Amika. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors... Come on, man. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place. At the hands of one of the residents, he himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there's no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, sleeping bag, a backpack with things and food with me. Yeah, I could read it all. So I heard we barricaded the door behind us. Good idea. <laughs> To avoid temptation to leave. I don't like that very much. Already the atmosphere in this game seems epic. Oh, two seconds guys. We got a light. Hello? Anybody in here? Two seconds, I need to... To fix something here. If possible. No. It'll, it'll be alright. I think I can do it... Here, two seconds guys. Right there. Okay, I think that's fine. Here we go. 
Alright then, let's explore this place. Any cool stuff here? I hear the purring of a cat somewhere. Someone feed the cats here? Well, definitely seems like it. There's cat food around. Where's the purring cat? I can hear it purr. But I don't see it. Hello? Purry cat? You here? Okay. It's too dark. Do we have a flashlight or something? Why the hell do you go explore a place without power? Without a flashlight? What kind of an explorer is this? Hello? Anyone taking a shit? No? Hello? Pretty sure I heard someone. Okay. Found a note. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Well, did you bring one? Okay. Can we get further into the camp? Can we also break these barricades here? No? How do we get further into the camp? Hello? Can't read what it says. No, no shit, man. I want to find that cat. <laughs> yeah, some creepy toys in here. We have explored the place. Let's go home. Hello? I hear people around here. Or... I don't know if it's people. I hear something around. Oh. This fuse is blown. There's no light in the building. Yay. So we need to find the fuse. I suppose. Where the hell do we... We already explored everything. Hello? Who's running around? Someone threw a ball from in here? Hello? Was this thing here before? I don't believe it was. Hello? So someone just threw this ball here. Ah, hello? Hello? Oh, kitty? Bad kitty. Bad kitty. It will be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Okay. Why the hell didn't you bring a flashlight? You dumb? Or something? Is this Chernobyl or something? It's gonna be a nuclear war now? These candles will be useful when night falls. Thank you, cats.
Okay, I guess these are two boys and a girl that tended this camp at some point. What was that alarm? I don't like it at all. Has Putin gone mad? Matter, I mean. Do we have sound? Do we have sound? Hello? Now that doll thingy is gone. Okay. What's up with that alarm, man? Need to find a lighter or matches. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can find a lighter somewhere. Or matches. Are these matches? I was translating some Russian books in college and I took a Russian English dictionary with me to help with the translation. Okay, then use it. Do we have an inventory or something? No? Okay. What the hell are we supposed to do here now? more matches or lighter ah now we can use the dictionary I suppose in 1958 towards the end of the summer parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children but no one answered when they arrived at the camp they found no one only abandoned things and a mess all the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. Okay. So everyone just disappeared overnight. I suppose we can read that note we found in here now. There are cigarettes. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water she did not wash and did not go to the river one day the older girls decided to laugh at her tied their hands and poured water over her she was very scared and ran away they couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead but one night she came back in their pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Okay. Hopefully we will not have a full moon here today. <laughs> Tonight. But I'm pretty sure there will be a full moon. You know? So I couldn't turn these on or anything. Light them, I mean. Just turn them on. <laughs> Didn't we also find some papers that we couldn't read earlier? Here it is. We already read this. This didn't say anything, no. So there's a summer camp for children, but we have ashtrays and cigarettes lying around. Can find some more matches or lighter, something. Or do we only need that one box of lighter? Of matches, of course. 
It's early in the morning here, you know? That's why I say stupid stuff. I'm not really awake yet. What am I missing? Can't you read this? No? Okay, place is explored. Let's go home. We cannot. some tuna or something can feed cats with one tin can this sleeping bag I brought a sleeping bag with me as a plan to spend spend a few nights here sounds like a great idea or something can I read this now Right then. So do we feed the cats? Is that it? Is that what you want me to do? Now that we found the tin can of food. Yep. Hey kitty kitty kitty. Hey kitty kitty. Where did the kitty go? I said here kitty 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 God damn it I want to pet you you know Why can't I turn these on? Light them I mean English is not my first language, you know? Can we call someone? No? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is pretty typical Amiga games, you know? They build tension slowly. games okay, was, this is so scary here that the cat went away <laughs> oh Not much to see on this photo. So everything dark, man. Am I supposed to find something specific here? Hey. need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate and I will give my shoes in return. Girls in Russia loved to guess in the camps and believed in the existence of everything paranormal. Okay. So my post find a small mirror I don't see a big mirror that we can play that game I 
Hello. So there are many small things we have to find here to progress, I suppose. Still can't light these, no. What's this? I don't know. Some kind of tool? Just crouching because see if we find anything on the floor that we have to take a look at or something. supposed to do here to find something that's in a dark corner or something no oh found our camera awesome Hold down middle mouse button E to zoom. That's our night vision. Okay, why didn't I see that earlier? I don't know. Maybe we can see something in the dark corners here now. Papushka? Aren't they called papushkas? Those thingies? I think so, right? Is this mask here all along? These masks were here, but did they expect a nuclear war or something? Well, you never know with Putin, but I guess Putin was not president in 58. Who was then? Gorbachev? No. I don't know. Lenin? Stalin? Do not throw garbage in the sink. <laughs> Alright. I haven't. Someone took a huge dump. Do not throw cigarette butts. We have a lighter. Oh! Lighter's almost empty. I can't always use it. Respect the work of cleaners. Okay, now stuff are beginning to happen, I suppose. I can light the candles now. Is it necessary? It's not so dark yet. Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Isn't too early to go sleep? Done. Need to prepare for the night. Alrighty then. Night number one. Who's running? Okay, now I don't have the ca camera with the night vision. 
Hello? We left it here. Take it, please. Hello? Did we close this door? Let the horror commence. Begin. Hey, cat ate its food. I need to prepare for the night. What do we need to prepare? We need to take a shit? Not using... The shit is gone. Now it's laying on the, the floor instead. Nineteen forty-six. These are some camp attendees, tenders. Okay, brought an alarm clock. Let's prepare for the night. Ah, this is the Russian English dictionary. Okay. Use this Papushka doll for anything? No? Okay. Hello? Hello? Don't come in here. They can't come in. I barricaded myself in here. Hello? Are these windows barricaded earlier? Did someone just barricade them? Is that what happened? These spirits running around? Bad kitty! I said? Don't make noise! Mr. Kitty. Huh? Here's someone eating. Or chewing, you know. This creepy noises, man. Hey. Close the door. Hello? Don't lock me in here. Holy crap. Let me out. Is this window barricade as well? It is. We are not getting out of here. Hello? 
Help me out, please. Pioneers grow up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. The pioneer ring in marsh, we go to the aid of the elders. Can I go home now? I don't want to stay tonight in here. Scare shit out of me, man. Hello? How did you get in here? Oh. Turn on the lights or something. With the camera. Oh my god, my head. How did I get here? Well, I don't know. I need to find my video camera. So we were knocked down. Woke up in a total different place. Hey, pigeon. The wingy rat. Oh, we lost our dictionary as well. <laughs> Hello? Oh, it was this room, okay. My video camera, yay! Didn't take it. The dictionary. You are not welcome here. Well, I figured. Where's the video camera? I don't see it. That's right here. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. But no shit. Need to try to turn on the lights. The entire building. Do we still have our lighter then? And the lights are gone that were here. I need to find more lights. Candles, I mean. Hello? Who's singing? We're humming. And we're in. Holy shit. What the hell is this? This ain't human remains, are they? The director of the pioneer camp, Yunos, Maria Anatolievna, A, disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. Well, maybe they shouldn't have. Okay, I thought she was going to be sit behind here. The girl that was singing or humming. We have a bloody handprint. I 
haven't finished looking around the room. Oh, okay. The hell, man? Doesn't work. Need to find the fuse. Okay. Can we find a fuse in this mess? These dead birds. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? I'm sorry. What the hell else do I need to find in here? I feel like I finished looking around the room. These animal tracks, now some of them are human. Why is he not commenting on this? Is this a sheep? something what the hell do I need to see here that I haven't seen be clean neat pioneer show an example in everything Nothing to find in here, man. Guys, your prank with fire leads to a fire. Alright, that. Oh, here we go. The light bulbs and a fuse. Take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I use the light bulbs for lighting. Sounds like a good idea. There was a fuse as well, wasn't there? Can I put it in here? Ah, yeah. Are you sure you want to get out of this room? I guess not. <laughs> there are more to find in here? Oh, let's bring the box. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You're not supposed to be here. I brought it. Now what? Put the fuse in, can we? Need to insert the fuse. Insert fuse. Turn on the light. Don't mind if I do. We have lights. And some music. Like a children's music box. How's oh, this radio here? Okay. 
Did we read this? <coughs> Late at night when people fall asleep. No need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know about know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he that night wearing a sad suit poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Okay. I pity that fool. We are. We have to find something in here. Is that it? Huh? Are we finished here? Oh, we haven't seen this. now nineteen fifty five opening of the youth children's camp okay I haven't seen that is that new or has that been there all along I don't know There's not much going on in here. Need to go to bed. It'll be dark soon. Alrighty then. And go to bed. Sleep. Go sleep before it gets dark. Night number two. Clock stopped at three of seven AM AKA the witching hour. Three AM is where all the fun begins. Uh, do we have the camera? Yep. Right at that. The 3 a.m. is supposed to be the spookiest time of night when paranormal stuff happens. Also known as the witching hour. Yeah. Right? Am I right? I think so. Hello? the radio hello is there anybody in here why is my night vision camera working so badly I don't see shit hello hello
I'm not scared at all. I'm just joking. Oh, what? Is that a body being dragged? In there? Holy shit. Can't get in there. Who's breathing heavily? Hello? Something's breathing heavily from in here. Why do you want to ruin it? Huh? Why, why do you want to ruin what? box wasn't here before well now it is it's locked it would be interesting to know what's inside I guess we need to find something to break it open did I close that door oh, hello <laughs> oh hello Hello. There were spare light bulbs in the box. Sure was. Put it in there? No? Here we go. I hear running water. Someone taking a piss? No? Some a box as well of some sorts. What is this box? I don't know. Ah! That didn't scare me at all. So we didn't look in the box. Is that a goat? What is our goat over there? Hello? <laughs> ah! Holy shit, this is a creepy ass game, man. Hey, boss. I can't come to work today, no? Now oh, I'll die of a heart attack in about 30 minutes or so. I think so. Yeah. Yes. You pay for the burial? Thank you. Bye bye. I don't call in sick. I call in death. Dead. I mean. Hello? I hear that heavy breathing. Hello? Who's breathing heavily? Still can't open this? It's 
breathing it right in my ear, man. Don't say I'm locked in this. <laughs> Would you still be in this house? I would have left yesterday. No? Don't play ball inside. Is this cute doll here all along? Probably. Hello? This key. I can open the box. Okay. In 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was opened since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived here okay now let's see what's inside that box I didn't close the door Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people. Oh, damn it. I thought I had time to read it. Night of 58. Are you sleeping, Mary? She's a tired old witch, you know? She's always sleeping. The hell is this? Some listening device of some sorts? I don't know. Oh, it's a flashlight. <laughs> okay. Where the hell are we now? A classroom? The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I'll heal my son myself. No matter what it takes. You'll heal him yourself? Your wish, Doctor? Someone found and hid my key to the safe. Okay. So are we, like, back in time? So this isn't, you know, us who entered the building. This is the teacher maybe because also we have this old ass uh, flashlight doesn't work yeah I suppose because everything looks you know normal in here or you know what I mean
We weigh zero kilos? Need to eat, woman. Children, caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. <laughs> Doesn't sound like everyone's asleep. Can I get in here? Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. Have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hit her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. The keys in the closet. What an asshole. Yeah, no shit. Hello? Aren't you kissed asleep? Why is this open now? The key to the safe. Ah, you filthy child! There's no filthy child. Someone hiding in here? Can't save them. Someone's breathing in there. Yakov Parasad stole the second gas cylinder. Can we remove this chair or something? I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then return back? What? What are you on about? That's not how you treat children. We worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake, because only he knows about our our agreement. Here's someone rustling around behind me. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergeyevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Eva. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I will set up an accident and no one will look for it. What the F, man? The filter is missing and the glass is broken. He ruined my gas mask. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives and he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Yakov will help me with this. Well, he wouldn't if you asked him if you could take his kidneys. Hey, no running! Need to put the gas in on the door and go back to the classroom. So not all children are sleeping. I heard someone running around.
So that's the alarm, yeah? It's a gas alarm? Something? Oh! Turn it off! going on the hell Maria's diary can't I take the Russian English dictionary now the hell man you were told to get out of here Leave this place alone. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. I use the pages from the diary to... You mean this door? Ah, I can... Ah, I know what you mean. I have to write a note. Put them under here. How, how would I do that? Need to take her diary first, maybe. What did we write? I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me. Who are you? Let's give him this. You think it's Yakov? I believe it is. Hello? Will you answer? Stopped. Hello? Let's see if he answered. Oh, hello! Did you just run straight through the door? Should try writing the letter again. Well, that's paranormal. <clears throat> I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me, then I can help you. Well, he just ran out. Through the door. Answer. Hmm? Who's running around here behind me? There's no one here. Oh, he answered. Okay. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Okay, we have creepy baby laughter. Kids laughter. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Hello? I don't like reading stuff like that and I hear all kinds of stuff around. So yeah, my guess is it's Yakov as well.
Oh, don't come closer. Don't run closer. Will you answer? I have to get out before he answers. I heard that. Yes. Here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it's our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things. But my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here. And those people will come for me. Why do you want to stay here? So I guess these are the spirits, you know, of the children. Right? Hello? I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. Sorry for not being able to stop this. I do I write another note? Who are your friends? Why are they here too? He was in a hurry to get the letter. I think I have to leave before he Draw no doubt. The spirits of this place. That's what I said. Mary, are you sleeping? God damn it, you old witch. Spirits of this place. Those who were tortured, tortured here. They remained locked up here. That day, in the evening, after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. Didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Yeah, with that gas thingy thingy. Gassed us all. Hello? That wasn't a child spirit, I was taller. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? No, they were trying to take the kidneys from these kids. We are Hello? I see you. What the hell? You scary bitch? Okay, he's still responding, that's good. We're communicating. Oh, we can stay here. And, and he still responds. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that, that it was connected with us. But I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there. Because I was scared and hit. In the morning I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken, a, taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in the building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. So maybe... 
Maybe this kid ain't dead. It's a person living in the ventilation. For reals? It's nice to have a little pen pal, you know? That building abandoned. Can I get there? Don't go there. Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Now he just wants to listen to music. This little music box. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Damn it. Come on. <laughs> Night number three. Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. hope I did that. Okay, so now we're in the abandoned hospital. I think we need to find a ball cutter or something. There's someone walking in there. Hello? Who's there? Have we moved this shit? No? Someone's definitely walking in there. I don't see a ball cutter anywhere. Go home, please. God damn it. I don't want to find the proof, I just want to go home. Hello? Who's in there? What the hell am I supposed to do, man? Will you open this door, please? Can't read the papers. Nothing I can do here, dude. Hello? I need to read any of these, no? I heard that. 
Did you open the door for me here? No? There are all these weird sounds. Hello? changed here hello some weird shit going on here 1946 after the war dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents an orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military okay Here, you are just all of a sudden in another place. Okay. There's nowhere we can go. Hello, don't come in here, please. This game is scaring the shit out of me, man. What the hell happened to this doll? Looks almost as creepy as you. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this but he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. Okay. So the director didn't know. This door leads to another corridor. I have an ankle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Oh, no. Don't scare me! Hello? Okay. Let's get the angle grinder. This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Yeah, the door is gone. Holy Moses! I know, I just looked away. I didn't see it. <laughs> There was something outside the window. Let's see if we can find any evidence in here. What I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei Sergeyevich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Hello? I was going to open the door, but I now no, I'm not sure if I want to. Hello? What's going on? 
the hell was that? Ah, oh, this is the surgery room. They stole these poor kid's kidneys. Or tried to, I don't know if they succeeded, because... Yakov is... Or is he still alive? I'm not sure. This is a maze. Can I get in there? Saw a ball caught there over there. Maybe I can use that when the angle grinder runs dry of batteries. Hello? I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanishka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Can we take this? Can. break open here so why did we take a ball cutter when we have an angle grinder hmm? battery of the angle grinder has run out that's good we found the ball cutter then I'll, I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because the day's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. The closet that's right behind me. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't, want to, I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and the smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. So we're talking about this closet? Smells like dead things in there. Can I have a shot of vodka? No? Seems like he had more than two shots of vodka. I don't blame him. Wasn't there another cabinet here somewhere? No? said something about moving you know that closet I could move it is it even this closet he was talking of I'm not sure no! <laughs> I 
I need to change my pants. And I finish playing this game. Someone taking a shower in here? Oh shit, are we locked in? Yep. There's someone walking around us in there. Hello? There's nothing I can do in here. We just have to wait until something happens. I suppose. Oh. Hello. Damn it! Can I go home now, please? Oh. Well, now we're behind here. So I guess this is the, the class that he was talking about. I know why it smell, smells of dead things in there. Hello? Oh. These are children, man. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? I don't know. Well, what kind of sorcery is this? Whoa, shit! Guess we are going to die in here, like all these people. We are locked in here. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. What she meant by that, and how she would return. Maria, I'm so sorry. She's gone. But she will be back. <laughs> Don't come back, please. So I guess these are all the... I don't know if these are... These are children, you know? But maybe this will be all the... People that came in here and never... Got back out. Can we kill her with this knife? Pretty sure we can't, because she's not really alive, is she? Death certificate. I can't read that. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Sergeyevich, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document. 
This is her son Eva. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Oh. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. No effing shit man. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's leave, please. We're out. Three weeks later. Three weeks later. Have we stayed here for three weeks? Or what? It's like we are starting all over again. No, we didn't. No, we don't have our backpack and stuff. Hello, Jakob. You no longer need to be afraid that you'll be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. I take this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. Okay, so we came back here three weeks later. I am glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of the 58 and help Jakob find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history, where witches used to live. And there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. So I guess he's talking about, you know, the next game in the series that we are definitely going to play. As we are playing all the Amiga games. What a freaking awesome game. What an awesome game. Amiga games, they are the champions of horror games. You know? Jesus loud. So if you guys enjoy these Amiga games, there are a lot of them coming out in the coming days, because I will play them all. And if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And then I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.